Welcome to a few moments together on the Pasha. This Shabbos, Shabbos Rosh Chodesh Elul, we have the privilege of reading Pasha's Re'e every single year when it becomes Mar Vorchem HaChodesh or Shabbos Rosh Chodesh Elul or within that week. We read Pasha's Re'e because Re'e Anochi Nosein Lefnechem Hayom See, I am putting before you today Bracha Uklala, the blessing and the curse. And of course we know that Rosh Chodesh Elul is the time in which we are beginning the Yomim Noraim, which is going to be the judgment of hopefully the blessing, and God forbid not the opposite. The key to the understanding of what the Torah is telling us when it says Re'ei, it's saying See. Re'e. If you see, and the way you see, that is what I'm putting before you today. I'm putting before you today the ability to see things as a blessing or to see things as a curse. And if you will look at things and have a positive view and use your ability to look at things as if they are a blessing, that will bring about that hopefully the year will also be a blessing because the way we look at others and the way we look at life depends upon how life looks on us. Life looks on us as a blessing if we look upon it as a blessing and if we recognize all the good that comes with it. Accentuating the positive, looking at ourselves, at others, thinking of ourselves in a positive way, thinking about others even when there are negative situations that arise, but emphasizing the positive is the key to hopefully looking forward to a year filled with blessings. Today, of course, we've heard the very sad news of the passing of Rebetzin Sheila Feinstein. Now, just recently, in May, Rabbi Reuven Feinstein and Rabbi Sheila Feinstein went to Eretz Yisrael for a bar mitzvah of a relative of theirs, and they accompanied the bar mitzvah tour all over Eretz Yisrael. I had the privilege of knowing that my son Chaim was doing the video, and he told me the following story. They were in Tveria, and they went on Lake Kineret, and there was a full day of activities of boating and and, and swimming, and water skiing. And at the end of the day, the entire busload of about 60 people, 50, 60 people, were invited for dinner at a very famous, beautiful restaurant there called Docks. They went on the dock, and they had their dinner, and at the end of the dinner, the restaurant had supplied musicians to play music in honor of the simcha of the Bar Mitzvah, and there was much beautiful simcha dancing. Interestingly enough, at that party, there were two busloads of, so to speak, birthright students from the University of Texas in Austin. Non-religious, many of them. And the music got them so moved that they got up also and joined along in the dancing. Now, you have to be aware, many of them were not dressed as we would call it according to the standard, standards of Tzniyut of the Torah community. And when they were dancing together, they didn't separate the boys and the girls as we do, separate the men and the women in the dancing, but they were all dancing their own way. And this went on for a period of time. Rabbi Feinstein and Rabbi Zim Feinstein were sitting there. They didn't get up. They didn't protest. They didn't walk out. And my son Chaim related to me that after the dancing was over, Rabbi Zim Feinstein Aleha came over to my son Chaim and said, Now wasn't that beautiful? Did you see how these non-religious students got involved in this true simcha? You never know, you know. It could be that because they had this opportunity, there will come a day when they will think back about the beauty of being at a bar mitzvah where there was Torah dancing, and it will remind them of the fact that the Jewish people have a religious component to all their activities and that they participated and had a grand time, and that might spur them to become a little bit more observant. Now that's passivity. That's being positive. That's the kind of situation where it's easy to criticize and say whatever you may will. But 
here was a totally positive reaction by the Rebetzin, which emphasizes it's the way you look at things. Re'e, see, onochi nosen lefnechem hayom, bracha uklola. See, look for the bracha. See the bracha. And Hashem will bless us, and yet's Hashem, with a year filled with bracha, as we go forward to look for a Shana Tova, Umesuka, on this Rosh Chodesh Elo. Have a truly wonderful Shabbos.